everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is a very very exciting day because I am doing a collaboration with Marissa Roya and it's not just one video, it's three videos. And this video is going to be all about how to start wearing makeup. The first video and today's video will be a makeup story kit. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to cover is the complexion and as for complexion, I have four products that I think are absolutely essential. The first product is a primer. This is the Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer which I think is amazing especially Especially if you have normal to dry skin. Now, if you have oily skin, Estee Lauder does a primer that is mattifying, so you might want to try that one. Instead. The reason why I like this primer more than any other primer that I've tried in my life is because it's non-greasy. It's extremely, extremely lightweight. It doesn't feel like there's anything on your face actually. It doesn't clog my pores and bring me and cause me breakouts or anything like that. And it is it prolongs the wear of my makeup and it makes it look more luminous without without looking glittery or shimmery or oily or greasy or anything like that it, it makes my makeup wear better during the day without settling into pores or fine lines or anything like that and it's just beautiful it has a very light scent that is almost undetectable or unnoticeable especially after you wear it on your face you can smell absolutely nothing it's absolutely beautiful the next product i want to talk about is this one from guerlain and this is the foundation it's guerlain lingerie depot which i absolutely adore i cannot rave about this foundation enough because it's, the reason why i like this foundation is because it has a light to medium coverage it's buildable without looking cakey it's not greasy at all, it has a satin finish, so it looks very natural. I'm actually wearing it today. I think it absolutely looks flawless. Because it looks very natural, it doesn't look like you're wearing any, you're wearing a ton of makeup on your face. It has basically a kind of skin-like feeling and it's skin-like look to it, which I absolutely adore. It um it has a pump which makes it hygienic and sanitary. The pump is super super easy to apply. It has a runny um you know consistency to it and it spreads easily with a beauty sponge with a with a brush and even with a with your own hands so it's absolutely phenomenal um it lasts all day on my face at least especially over the over, over the primer which i've just shown you just uh, right now and it's just very lightweight it's super easy to remove there's absolutely nothing bad that i can say about this it's my holy grail foundation and I absolutely love it to be sealer. And for, for concealer, I have this Estee Lauder Double Wear High Coverage um, High Cover Concealer. It's super, super easy to use because you can either use a brush or, or your fingers and it blends like a dream. It's super pigmented. It has, it has a full coverage, you know, coverage to it. It's super versatile, so I can use it on my face as well, like on my under eyes and things like that. It doesn't crease or accentuate lines or settle in pores or lines or whatever. It doesn't feel heavy on my face, which is essential for me because I don't want a foundation or a concealer that has full or that has a heavier coverage or a more full coverage to feel that way on my face. So it's absolutely nice. And the last product for the face has got to be my Guerlain Meteorite. This is not a powder that has coverage to it. So it's a sheer powder. It's a luminizing one. So it has a luminous finish, but it doesn't look, so it doesn't look or feel luminous or shimmery or glittery or greasy or anything of those horrible qualities that some luminizing products can have it's absolutely natural it looks very very beautiful flawless it applies super super easily and gives you this kind of lit from within look if that makes any sense i absolutely adore this next we have eyes and if you're planning to buy eyeshadows i think you have to buy an eye primer first there are a ton of eye primers in the market. I haven't tried many, but the one that I really, really like is this one from Smashbox, and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. It's absolutely delightful. It has a skin tone color to it, so it cancels cancel as so it cancels out any discoloration on your lids, which is crucial in my opinion, especially if I don't want to wear eyeshadows, but I just want to even out the discoloration on my lid. This is absolutely phenomenal. It makes my eyeshadows last all day without creasing and, and improves the pigmentation of some shades that might not be as pigmented as others. So it's absolutely beautiful. And um, next would be the eyeshadows. As for an eyeshadow, if you're just 
starting out with makeup. I think that going out and buying a palette would, might be a little too confusing, especially if that palette has like 12 or even more eyeshadows to them. I think that an ideal eyeshadow product for just a beginner is either a duo or a trio, a quad, maybe a quint which has five five um, eyeshadows. As for me, I think that this quad is absolutely beautiful and this is the Guerlain quad in number seven, liqueurs, which basically means the leathers. It has skin tone type colors to it, so um, they're very natural. It has a variety of finishes, nothing too glittery, which means that it's super easy for a beginner, it's super, super self-explanatory and it's just Stunning. There will be a tutorial using all of these products, so if you're confused as to how I use this product, then don't worry because there will be a tutorial coming up in three days or so, so stay tuned. Anyway, I think that this is very easy, especially for a beginner, and it can actually help you learn so that in the future you might want to buy a palette or more quads and quints and eyeshadows and things like that. This is absolutely beautiful. Next would be a mascara, and for mascara, I think that to each their own. I personally haven't found my holy grail mascara yet. The one I'm currently using and I'm quite enjoying is this one from L'Oreal, and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's pretty good, I mean, it's it doesn't give my uh, eyelashes thickness, which I don't really like. I'd like my eyes, my eyelashes to be thin and fluttery, and I want them to I want them to be like I want there to be many lashes rather than one thick lash so if that makes any sense um it does an all right job it's still not my holy grail mascara i don't know i i find that especially with mascaras i think especially with mascaras you know the drugstore is where you should look into buying one because they just do the same thing and especially for mascaras you just you're just going to have to throw it away within six months or even sometimes less especially if it dries out pretty quickly like some mascaras can do um this one is nice but it's definitely not, not my holy grail now if you, if you want to be adventurous and try extra things when it comes to your eyes i think that those two drugstore products are actually pretty good the first one is this one from master from maybelline and it's a maybelline master kajal cool um liner in oriental gold it looks like this this part is the color itself it here it can either be used as an eyeshadow base so basically all over the lid underneath your eyeshadows or you can use it as a thick liner on your lash line to give you this kind of brightness and a gold kind of effect because it is a gold color after all or you can use it as i will use it in the tutorial i draw a thick line on my upper lash line and then i draw a very thin line with this felt tip liner from l'oreal which is called the super liner super perfect slim eyeliner which is not perfect by any means but it's a, but it applies super super easily and you can be very very precise and thin using this um, eyeliner so i really really do like this Next would be the cheeks, and for cheeks I think that buying a palette is the way to go. It's very easy, it saves you a lot of money, especially if you're planning on buying a separate bronzer, a blush, and then another highlighter. I think that a palette just does it all. This one is by, Lore is by Lancome, and this is the Lancome Blush Subtle Palette in the shade number 2, Nectar Lace. It looks like this. As you can tell, it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. It has everything that you need in just one little compact. The, the bronzer is matte, so, it, so it's easy to use. The blush is shimmery, and it gives you this kind of highlight effect, and the color is really, really beautiful on this one. And then the highlight is subtle and nice and, I don't know, lovely, if that makes any sense. And it just does the job perfectly. And the last product I want to talk about is lipsticks. As for lipstick, um, if I was just starting out with makeup, I wouldn't want to buy a, a nude one because it doesn't feel as a change, especially if you haven't been wearing anything on your lips. I wouldn't go for reds because reds are like really, really out there and prominent. I wouldn't buy pinks because I feel like pinks and reds are just the same thing in my opinion. I would go for a peachy colors and I think that this one is absolutely perfect for that. This is the Rouge Aromatique by, Ger by Guerlain in the shade number 141, Quand Vient Lepe. 
I'm going to show you the color here. It looks like this. I'm definitely not wearing anything that I'm talking about in this video because I don't want to show you guys how the finished look will uh, be will look like. And this is the shade here on my hand. It's just really nice. It doesn't look too striking as the first lipstick you're going to wear in your life but it doesn't look like you're not wearing anything at all it just looks perfect it blends into the natural um color of my lips pretty nicely and i think that this is just an absolute amazing product in my opinion this concludes the first episode of this um collaboration trilogy that i'm doing with marissa do not forget to check marissa's channel out because she's absolutely beautiful her channel is amazing and she gives amazing tips by the way her tips are really really always spot on fantastic and uh, what else do I want to say? There will be a link to her video down below because I'm very curious as to which products you will think are essential for a, for a makeup starter kit. And yep, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below or tell me whether you agree with me or disagree. And if you, if you disagree with me, which products would you replace and things like that. And uh, what else? Don't forget to subscribe to Marissa's channel, of course, because I, as I told you guys, she's one of my favorite people here on YouTube. And I will see you in the next video, which will be the second the second episode of this trilogy with Marissa, which will be a tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys.